Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I'm going to show you how to repair many variations of a loose outlet or switch. Alright, let me start out by saying I should technically be calling this a receptacle. It's the thing that you plug a thing into, but I'm not gonna. I'm calling them outlets, so just bear with me. And all of this information applies to switches. So to start off, most of the time when you've got a loose outlet, it's a very simple, straightforward fix. You take off the cover plate, you tighten the screws on the outlet, and boom, you're done. That's all there is to it. Now, of course, as with all electrical work, before you commence any of this, it's important to turn your power off. We all get that, but I'm gonna talk you through a few of the more complicated versions of this. And in any case, it's a pretty simple, straightforward fix, but I'll walk you through a couple variations of it. Now, let me start out by saying this was a very simple fix because the little ears on the outlet were still intact and the ears are able to push against the tile wall here, keeping it secure. But let's say we have an outlet where the ears are missing. In that case, it gets a little bit more complicated. Now to start off, electrical boxes are supposed to be installed flush with the surface of the wall, assuming you have combustible construction like wood paneling. If you have something else that's non-combustible like gypsum board, also known as drywall, you're allowed to recess the outlet box up to a quarter inch in the wall, but no more. Now, let's say this tile here is only a quarter inch. In this case, let's just say the box is recessed a quarter of an inch into the wall. In that case, there's a lot of play here. You can see the box moves around freely. And if someone were to just take a cover plate and try to tighten that cover plate onto that recessed box, they're gonna break the cover plate. The simple fix is to get some outlet shims. You simply tear these into the number that you want, you fold them up a little bit, and then you stick them behind the screw on the outlet. Now in this case, I'm going a little nuts. I'm folding up four of them, and each one is 1 8 inch in depth, so I'm creating a half inch spacer, which is technically not allowable, but I'm just doing this for the purposes of demonstration. As you can see, after I play around with it for a little bit, I can get the depth right, I can tighten the screws, and now my outlet is secure. But of course, like I said, this only is allowable if that outlet box is recessed one quarter inch or less, meaning the most number of shims you're really supposed to be using is two if you're using this style. But knowing that this box is recessed more than a quarter inch, the shims aren't the right fix. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull those shims out of here and I'm going to use an outlet box extender, sometimes known as a goof ring. There's a couple of different versions of this. There are adjustable ones and then there's a fixed style like this one where this gives you 3 eighths of an inch extension. You don't even need to uninstall the outlet from the wires to do this. You simply slip the box over the receptacle cover and you fit your screws into the extender and then you can screw the whole assembly back into the electrical box. Piece of cake. And there you have it. The outlet is now flush with the surface of the wall. We can install the cover plate and everything is tight and secure and properly installed. That's it.